Hey, in today's video, I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step -step exactly how to earn an entire bachelor's degree in less than 12 months from home while you're sitting in your pajamas or your bed or whatever you want without paying any tuition. My name's Ryan Swate. I earned an entire bachelor's degree in just nine months and I did it from home without ever stepping foot on a college campus and I still was able to get a degree from a highly accredited university. If that sounds good to you, then let's dive in. Hi, I'm Ryan Sweet, and I used to be a two-time college dropout making just 12 bucks an hour. Then I learned how to hack college and earned an entire bachelor's degree in nine months flat. Subscribe to my channel and I'll show you how. All right, so we're literally gonna jump over to my computer screen. I'm gonna walk you through this right now, okay? So the goal here is, goal number one, to earn a bachelor's degree in less than 12 months, okay? I've seen people do it in less than six months. I've seen people do it even less than that. Most people that I work with and help do this shoot for less than 12 months, and that should be the goal for you as well. Now, a few things you need to, to really pay attention to. Number one, you need to make sure it's a highly accredited university, okay? Because you don't want a degree from a bottom barrel school that's not gonna get you jobs and that's not gonna get you interviews, that's not gonna get you into prestigious master's programs and things like that. So you gotta make sure it's from a highly accredited university. Number two, no stepping foot on campus ever, even to take exams, okay? So that's number two. And number three, no tuition. How do you do this without paying tuition? So that's what we're going to talk about. Let's dive in. Okay. All right. Step one is you have to choose a school that will allow you to test out of classes. And what that means is instead of going to class for four months, sitting in the classroom, doing homework, reading textbooks, literally all you're required to do is pass an exam. When you've passed an exam, you get full credit for the class and it doesn't matter how long it takes you, okay? Now, beware of colleges that offer accelerated programs and eight-week semesters and things like that. It's usually not what it seems to be. You're looking for schools that literally give you full credit as long as you pass one single exam for a class, okay? So that's what you're looking for. Now, there are a couple different ways to do this. Strategy number one, okay, is um, basically exam-based transfer credits, okay? And essentially what that means is you can go using different resources online, um, CLEP, Sophia.com, Straighterline, there are a whole bunch of different resources. You can go and purchase a college exam and take the exam. And then you can approach a university and transfer that credit over to a university. Okay. That's strategy number one. This is not my preferred strategy because you're really limited on which schools you can graduate from and things like that. And you don't have help if you need extra help from teachers. So that's strategy number one. But strategy number two is my personal preferred strategy. And that is to, to basically test out of your classes through the university. So you're taking exams that are offered by the university. They're not third-party resources. They're literally offered by prestigious, highly accredited universities. And this is called competency-based education. Essentially, universities all across the country have programs where if you prove that you have the knowledge in your brain, they'll allow you to take the exam and get credit for the class instead of going through the entire semester to learn these things, okay? So those are the two options. I personally prefer option number two because you can graduate from a huge, huge variety of really prestigious, really high quality schools using this strategy. Now, a few things you need to make sure of. Number one, the program that they offer, you need to make sure that it's 100% online. Otherwise, you're gonna be sitting in classrooms, attending lectures, and it's gonna take you longer. The cool thing is with online degrees, the pandemic has made online degrees kind of the new thing. 
most colleges and universities across the entire country have dumped tons and tons of money into developing really high quality online programs. So nowadays, whether you go to school online or not online, it doesn't really even say that on your diploma. You just need to do the schoolwork, okay? And number two, you need to make sure that, this, that the school offers proctored exams, okay? What a proctored exam is, is basically you plug a webcam into your computer and you record yourself taking the test and a proctor or a person watches you take the exam from your computer to make sure that you're not cheating, okay? The alternative to this is going into a testing center or going into the university and taking the university in front of a teacher, okay? This is harder, it takes longer, you have to schedule appointments to do this and it's just more red tape you have to jump through. Proctored exams allow you to literally do this from home, from your bedroom, from wherever you want to do this, okay? So make sure they offer proctored exams. Now, next, make sure the school is regionally accredited. That essentially is the highest form of accreditation a college or university can achieve. So if you uh, go to a college that is regionally accredited, you know that it's high quality education and that degree is going to mean something and help you throughout your career. Now, step two is you need to choose a school that charges you. And this part is optional, but remember, I'm trying to show you how to do this without paying any tuition, okay? So if you're interested in not paying tuition, this is what you're gonna need, okay? So you choose a school that charges you per semester instead of per credit or per class. And what that means is the faster you graduate, the cheaper it becomes. If you graduate in one semester, you only have to pay for one semester. If you graduate in two semesters, you only have to pay for two semesters, so on and so forth. If you choose a school that charges per credit, if you do four years of credits in one year, you still have to pay four years of tuition. So like I said, that's 100% optional, but it's really helpful if you don't wanna pay any tuition, cut that tuition down to one year or less worth of tuition. And then following that, step three, if you only have to pay for one, one year of tuition, it's a lot easier to pay for through scholarships and grants and things like that. So first off, you need to apply for grants, okay? If you've heard of FAFSA, F-A-F-S-A, basically you can go to Google and search F-A-F-S-A and you can fill out an application for a government grant and they base these app, these grants on your income level. If you basically are below a, a certain income level and it depends on how many kids you have and, and, and things like that, but basically they have an algorithm that determines the government decides whether you can afford college or not. And if they, if they believe that you can't afford college, they will pay your college tuition for you. Now, if you're attending a really, really expensive college that charges 40 grand a year or something like that, it might not cover all of your tuition. If you attend an affordable college, generally it will pay your tuition. So next, you can do this even if you get a grant, but especially if you don't get a grant, start applying for scholarships. You can get scholarships for anything, for being left-handed, your heritage, speaking multiple languages, where you grew up, all sorts of things like that you can get scholarships for. Now, getting a full ride scholarship for $100,000 or four years of tuition is really, really hard. You have to be excellent in athletics or music or have perfect grades and perfect test scores to get a full ride scholarship. However, if you only need enough scholarship money to pay for one or two semesters of a reasonable, reasonably priced college, maybe $5,000 or $10,000 in, in total, it is so much more doable to get scholarships in small amounts, okay? Normally what I tell people is shoot for $500 scholarships and $1,000 scholarships and 
add them together. So you're applying for multiple scholarships, combining them together to pay for your tuition. Now, if you only need five to 10 grand in tuition paid for, it's a whole lot easier to get enough scholarships to pay for that many or for, for that much in tuition. Okay. If you have children, you can get scholarships for being a parent that's going back to college. I mean, literally anything you can get scholarships for. So that is how to basically not have to pay for tuition. Student loans are also an option. I always tell people don't get student loans for a hundred grand in tuition, but if you need $5,000 in student loans, that's a completely different situation because you can pay it off really quickly and you don't have to start paying it off until you've finished college and you can get the better job and the pay raise. So student loans are also on the table. Now, step number four is to start testing out of your classes. Okay. Now, this is important. Schools, whatever school you're enrolled in, even if they allow you to test out of classes, they're going to give you homework and quizzes and textbooks and group projects and science experiments and all of this stuff, essays, all this stuff that none of us like about school, these schools will give us to do. And they tell us, listen, we're giving you this work to help you learn. Okay. Reality is, it's a lot easier to learn than reading a textbook. There are better ways to learn. You can go to YouTube, you can go to Google, you can learn using modern technology or the internet. You can learn things faster, right? So don't follow the school's path, okay? And this means don't, don't read the textbooks, don't do the homework, don't attend lectures, learn on your own. Figure out what you need to learn, learn it on your own using modern resources, and then go take the exam. Okay. Now step five is to pace yourself. Okay. You need to be, if you want to graduate in under a year, you need to pace yourself so that you will do this in less than a year. So a bachelor's degree is generally 40 classes, give or take, depending on the degree you earn, but it's generally right about 40 classes. Okay. So if you can test out of one class per week, that means that you can earn 40 classes or finish 40 classes in 40 weeks, right? That easily puts you on track to do this in less than a year. Now, my favorite way to do this, all of this is called degree hacking. This is kind of a little taste of degree hacking, but I have a full blown training that will walk you through how to hack college and graduate in less than a year. And it's a deeper dive than what I'm talking about right here and right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a link down below in the video description. If you're on your phone, just click on the title, the video title, and it's going to open up the description. If you're on your computer, scroll down and you'll see like a little show more button. You click on that and it opens up the entire video description. Literally just click that link and you can go and watch that training absolutely free. No strings attached. My hope is that you can earn a college degree faster than I did. Okay. I did, I earned an entire bachelor's degree in nine months. I came out of pocket about $200 for tuition. And I did this while having a wife and children and working full time, working a full time job. Literally did this in my spare time. This is absolutely doable for you. The reason that it's not out there and more people don't do, do this is literally because colleges just don't tell you that this is possible because the faster you graduate, the less money the college makes. So they kind of hide this from you and don't even tell you that it's a possibility. Watch the free training in the video description and I'll show you exactly how to do this. And my hope is that you can do this, earn your college degree in months, not years without spending a fortune on tuition so that you can get your dream job and basically be a part of the career that you want to be a part of. Okay. I hope this video has added value to your day. If it has, please click the like button and subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. That way you're going to see more videos of me teaching you how to earn college degrees faster, how to save a whole bunch of money on tuition. And it also helps this video be shown to more people. 
I hope you have a wonderful day and I will talk to you in the next video.